Hello everyone and welcome to Opening Amiibos in Tears of the Kingdom. So a few things I want to get out of the way first. Uh, these episodes will only come out on the weekends. And for the first two episodes, I'm going to try to keep it spoiler free. So that's why I'm doing it in the location we did them back in the last game. Alright. And uh... After that, I am going to probably move it to a location slightly more spoilery. It won't be spoilery to the main story, but it will be to cool side quests. And else than that, you will be seeing glimpses of my inventory, and obviously the items that drop. So if you don't want any of that spoiled for you, then I suggest you click off. Otherwise, let's get to opening some amiibos. Well, I ramble about nonsense. We're gonna open two amiibos that are different from the last game. I don't know, so that is the Zelda and her Loftwing amiibo. <laughs> if you remember in the last game, it didn't drop a chest for some reason. That's why this one I want to start with. Uh, Goddess Fabric, ooh. Yeah, so when... yeah. That's very neat. Something I like very much. And Elsa and Zelda and Herloftwing. Another one that changed was... here. Wolf Link. Why is it? Yes, unfortunately... Wolf Link now does not summon a wolf to save a quest, and it just drops a bunch of meat. So that is a little unfortunate, but I guess that's alright. So how's everyone doing today? I want to share a, a fun story, something that made me pretty happy. I have no idea what drops we can get from these, by the way, so... Oh, hey, a swallow bow. Neat. Not something particularly useful to us, though, so, as usual, we take and we toss. I actually have no idea what to expect from these. I have done a single amiibo pull, which was in my second episode of the main series, and have just finished recording episode 20 before I started doing this. So, it's been a while since I've been- Ooh, Demon King Fabric. That was from the uh, Ganondorf amiibo. Oh yeah, I guess we can leave that where it is. Because we took bows inside. Alright, wanted to share a fun story. So, uh, when I was younger, I really loved the Legend of Zelda graphic novels, and one of my favorites from them was the two-parter of Four Swords. And recently, my niece, yeah, it's a nice little quality, quality of life improvement, by the way, is when you open a chest and it has something in your full, it lets you switch out if you want on the spot. Hey, so anyway, oop, wrong thing. So, yeah, I really enjoyed that one. Has a nice, light cartoony style, very cute, great story. Anyway, my oldest niece is learning to read, and so I wanted to get her a gift. Ouch, my beats. So, of course, I got her that. And, uh, anyway. Didn't think much of it, you know, how kids are. I didn't think she would even care, really. But I handed it off to my sister, and I was like, hey, give this to your kiddo for me. And then the other day, I took the kiddos to the park, let them run around, and they made a new friend. And of course, I'm staying near them in case they fall off and get hurt or whatever. I want to make sure I can catch them. Or help. So I'm close enough that I can hear them chatting. I hear her chatting with a new friend she made, 
and she's like, oh, I really uh, love these Zelda books I got. And I was like, oh my god, those are the books I got her. And I was so excited. I was so happy to hear that. This melted my heart. And any of my friends who watch my videos are going to be like, no, you've already shared the story with all of us. Yes, because it made me so happy. You have no idea. Um, do we have a box breaker? I wonder. I haven't actually tried to do this yet in this game. Can we break them like this? We can. Awesome. Yeah, an arrow. That's great, because we're actually always running out of arrows in the main play here right now. It's been a huge struggle for us. This is this a chest we didn't take the innards of? Ouch, my foot. My foot Z. Rusty broadsword. Now we'll get with what we have. I spent a lot of my series collecting weapons I thought were neat. So I probably won't be too interested in the weapons. I'm mostly looking for outfits and arrows and rupees. I need a lot. A lot of rupees right now. There's so much cool stuff in this game, you guys. I really hope all of you who haven't played yet do get a chance to play it. I think it's a massive improvement over the last one. Massive. Is that my first Swift Violet I picked up in this game? Swift Violet. This Vitality Ridge flower blooms mainly on cliff sides when cooked into a dish and the nourishing compounds increase your movement speed. Very nice. Yeah, I'm a little stuffed up today, but I have been trying to speak more clearly in my videos, so uh, hopefully that eventually starts to come clear, just when I'm not all congested as I am today. Yeah, a very nice thing is we can pick up things that aren't metal now. So, we'll break the box like this. Hope that's not too spoilery. It's, you know, same as the runes in the last game, it's just from the tutorial. It's not anything out of the ordinary. Soldier shield. We're gonna abandon that. Yeah, I've done 20 episodes, which means we are well over 41 hours into the series, so I do have a lot of nice gear now. So the stuff that drops from these isn't super fancy to me. Ooh, Brutal Shield. The design of this metal shield has changed over time to match the Gerudo's sword and shield fighting style. It's favored by soldiers and travelers alike. Very nice. Oh, I didn't toss that one away, did I? I just added it to the pile. want to watch what is, I guess would technically be my very first amiibo opening of Tears of the Kingdom, then you'd want to watch my part 2 of the Let's Play. But do be warned that will, you know, it's a Let's Play, so of course it will have a lot more spoilers to different stuff in the game than this episode will have. Oh, a second super exciting thing I want to talk to you guys about. Um, community tabs. You know how I was crying and complaining and being, being a bit of a baby earlier about how I couldn't use it. I can now. I have access to it. I can post polls and all that good stuff. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So from now on when I have any questions about what you guys want from the series, I'll be posting it in the community tab. I actually asked, ooh, sheep fabric, nice. That was, of course, from the Smash Bros. Sheik Amiibo. But, uh, you know, asking if Amiibos should come back is something I did in a poll in my community tab, so 
the votes were yes that I saw and so here it is enables quicker charged attacks that's neat now weapons can have a lot more upgrades in this game or like differences you know how they'd have like attack up or shield up or whatever durability up now there's a lot of cool stuff so we might see some of that as I'm opening amiibos Let's use the same one twice by accident. These amiibos are gonna be such a lifesaver. I've been dying so much playing through because I just don't have enough food ever. Also, I've collected a lot of more inventory slots, like weapon slots in this game. That's why I'm. Uh, it's not working. That's why I'm hesitant to use weapon durability trying to open these. I don't want to lose any of my weapons. Nice shield. Now we're we're pretty good on shields. I don't know if you remember, but uh, of course you would remember. But uh, the runes in Breath of the Wild. We're kind of on a menu where you scroll side to side, so it's nice that you can pick them more quickly in this game. Your abilities. Oh, Tunic of the Wind, awesome. And there we go. Our first, well, technically second amiibo outfit item. Our first amiibo outfit item of the new amiibo series. <laughs> Yeah, life's been going pretty great lately. I know it's only been a week since I stopped doing the other new episodes. It's been a week since Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom came out. But, uh, um, do I want to switch bows? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. You know, anyone who doesn't mind spoilers uh, and enjoys watching my videos, uh, please consider checking out my Let's Play series. It's just, you know, it's on a playlist. You can toss it on, have it as background noise, maybe as you go through your own journey. It'd be fun. Yeah. Soldier's Clean Wall consumes less stamina during charged attacks. That's good. Pretty sure we saw all the abilities in the trailer anyway, so I'm not too concerned about that. Sorry if you guys do consider that spoiler territory. I'm assuming most people who are watching these were people who enjoyed my Breath of the Wild new episodes. So you should kind of already know what we're doing here. Come on. Why must they fight with me?
Huh, I guess that's my first vote poop. Oh my god, drops to the toilet. No way. Super lucky, nice. The insides are lined with cozy wolf fur. Interesting. Well, we don't need to move that one. Oh, yeah, here we go. You know how in the last game we would get stuff like, you know, the big Goron sword and here's the Eevee sword? I wonder if those are in this game. Knight's broadsword. Hmm. Do I want that? Do I want it? I kind of do. I think for now. I'll have to pass. Maybe in my next Let's Play I'll do a Korok episode. So I have more inventory room. Because that is a nice weapon. But oh well. The Lotus is not drying, dropping like the Royal Knight gear and stuff like it was for me in Breath of the Wild. It's because I'm not actually, I don't think I'm that far in this game yet. I'm not sure what would be considered far, but... Yeah. A lot of the stuff is still, that I find is still the soldier stuff. So I don't think enemies have upgraded that much yet. I don't know if the upgrading system even works the same as the last game, honestly. Because I know in the last game, if you got, you know, you had a hidden experience bar, kind of, so the more enemies you killed, the stronger they'd become, and you start seeing the silvers and gold and all that. I don't know if this game is the same way. Ooh. Okay, I guess I do get royal gear, but only the shield. I would have really liked a royal sword. I'm hurting so bad for good swords right now. Ah. Uh, we'll just leave that in there. As usual, I'm a hoarder. I don't want to throw away my forest dollar stuff. I don't know if it's as rare in this game, but... The last game was pretty rare, so I don't like to... Just toss it on the ground, you know? I want to find a place I can put it and keep it. Ooh, bygone royal hat for... A fabric bearing in a bygone royal design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Yeah, I guess, you know, if it's in there, I can maybe get away with showing you guys, but there are new designs for paragliders. You can only briefly see it there because I don't have a lot of height in here, but uh, this is what I'm using right now. I really love the design. It's like the Twilight Shield from Carly Princess. Not Twilight Shield, Twilight Mirror. Ah, can't just step on here again. Yeah. That's really nice to have. So I'm always super excited whenever I get a new fabric, actually. They're all so cool. My brother's been playing through. He's been using Amiibo since day one, so he has like all the fabrics, and some of them just look so cool. Ooh. Powerful attacks when you're down to your last heart. That's so cool. And really, I was hoping for rupees to fall out of this like we did in the last game, but we haven't been getting any. Unfortunate for me, because I am strapped for cash at the moment. I guess one of the reasons I need money so bad is to buy arrows. So if it's dropping arrows, that's even better. The arrow helps. The funny thing is though, because in... So when we did this in Breath of the Wild, I would do one recording episode a day and one amiibo episode a day. But this game, I am 
really loving right now. So I sometimes do up to five episodes a day. So a lot of episodes are going to pass between Amiibo episodes. So a lot of the stuff I collect here is going to be broken or used up by the next time. Probably never going to end up with 999 arrows again, that's for sure. Just an empty barrel. There we go. That was the arrow barrel. Why are these all empty? In the last games we get such cool stuff. We get like 50 rupees from them. Sometimes. Sometimes golden rupees, which I think are 300. Hmm. Not as generous as money in this game, huh? It's fine, I've been, I've been doing a grind for money. Going around old school style from back in the days before I had Amiibos and Breath of the Wild doing the same thing. Just hunting ore. Breaking open ore and selling it. Oh my god, that's in this game? Var Ruta Divine Helm, a home owned by a warrior who protects the Zora in a time beyond memory. Is said to deepen the bond between the Zora when worn by Hylian. I don't think Link needs to deepen his bonds with Zoras anymore. They keep falling in love with him, it's weird. First, uh, I think it was Ruta in Ocarina of Time, then Mifa. What are we gonna get here? Ouch, my foot. Oh, no way! We got a silly hat! I don't know if you guys would consider seeing the outfits of this game as a spoiler, but I won't be changing outfits in episodes so you guys don't have to see my outfit screen. I'll change them between two Amiibo stuff. That's why I'm naked right now, by the way. I was like, maybe they don't want to see the outfits, you know? So I took off all my clothes. Alrighty, after this- oh! We got quite a bit of stuff from this. Huh. A rusty shield, so nice. It's like these rusty old shield once belonged to a knight. So it has some defensive capabilities, but its usefulness has been worn down by time. One more to go. And I hope it's full of arrows because I really, really need arrows. It's the Archer Breath of the Wild amiibo. You know where he's holding the bow with the ancient arrow. Why is this one not scanning? This one's never had problems before. It's the first amiibo I ever got, actually. I got it, like, pretty much with Breath of the Wild when it came out. Which is funny because looking back, it was one of the most useless amiibos to have. I had none of the cool, rare stuff. I was like, that's it. I spent like 20 bucks on an amiibo for that. Ooh, Volpin. Ooh, Hardy. That'll be very useful. Ouch, my foot. Tunic of Memories fabric. That's so cool. That would be a uh, Breath of the Wild one. Tough fabric bearing a tunic of memories design. It looks like it could be used to make a paraglider. Well, that's probably the design that's on the champion tunic from the last game. That would make sense. 
<laughs> I don't know. I'll just end up here. It's not working. Yeah, I was just gonna say. That's it. End of the episode. Oh, just as Clem Deuce comes on. Good timing. Let's switch off of our bow. Thank you all so very much for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one. Please make good choices. And have a good day. Bye-bye.